Okay, in this session, we'll be going deeper into this Bible web application called Bible Lab. So you can navigate using any search engine of your choice. So you can search it on Google or any search engine. So this is how their website looks like. They provide you with a very simple but powerful web interface. So like this, so we'll be going in depth into each and every of them. So the main foremost bar provides you with option of choosing the, the particular subjects or passage of the Bible based on the book. You can choose it based on the book by clicking on it to give you a drop menu which provides you which will show every part of the Bible passage. Or you can use and choose it based on a chapter. And then you can choose it based on the Bible version. They provide you with several Bible versions. Several Bible versions that which you can benefit from. They also give you option of choosing based on the commentaries. So we have several commentaries such as Matthew Henry's commentary, such as Benson's commentary. The never study Bible Wesley's notes and several other co commentaries. They also have a nice feature of providing with language search, which you can change the whole interface. So let's choose something like French. So by, when you click on this, it's going to change the entire website and then redirect you to the French version of the website. So this is how it is. Just change it, redirect it as to Saint Saint Bible.com. So like you, it will change everything, still provide you with every resources that it provides when you are in the English version. When you are still with the English version, so so it gives you still the it will give you the quick access button as well as several of their functionalities and features. So it will give you first 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 foremostly to give you all the Bible versions in that particular language if they have. So for the French, you have the Louis Second Bible. You also have Martin's Bible. So let's check the Martin. Here's how the Martin is to give you the Martin Bible in which is a version of the Bible or to give you Debbie's Bible which is also a French version of Debbie's English Bible version so the, and then every feature you can still harness you can still search you can use the search you can use the Bible passages you can use several other, other personalities let's go back to the original the original one that we're using in English since our main medium is English. So you can just change it to English to languages here and then to go back to your default. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Now, so if you want to search for a particular Bible version, yeah, they have two options. Either you can search for it in the top bar or you can search for it here. So let's say you only search for John. So I just choose from here, John. You navigate through. You just move you straight. There are two options. You can even choose the verses and the chapter here. Or you can choose it by clicking on this. You can choose it by clicking on this button. This is the parallel format of a Bible. So to be giving it to you in parallel, parallel format. To give you all the several Bible versions listed here because this one is set to multi language. So let's make it simple Bible so that to just give us one Bible web application, one Bible version. So let's choose a Bible version that you'll be going through. So let's use, let's say, American King James AKG. So to give you a very nice interface of every verse. It also provide you with topical headers, topical headers so that you can know the particular story it is about. So you can choose this, you can change, you can navigate to the next chapter by clicking on this to give you a different whole chapter, chapter 2. Or you can search for it at the top bar here and then you can change it to any particular passage of the scriptures you want. Okay, that is for the verses chapter. You can also search for it based on the particular chapter using the search engine. So to go through the database and then search for a particular verse for you. This search functionality provides you with not only the particular verse but also several parallel Bible versions so that you can check for it as well as it provides you with what a study Bible also gives you. And then it also gives you the cross reference to that particular verse that you search for, which is very good if you want to do in-depth studies. 
they don't only allow you to search for a particular chapter but you can also search for a particular topic so something like heaven to go through the database and search for every keyword related to it so all passages in the bible and all passages in your system that is having the word heaven to grant it onto you so that you can just click on it and then to open for you so it's quite useful if you are doing your own personal study and 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 as by default to give you power versions of the particular phrase or topic you are searching as well as a study bible type and then a cross reference type okay so this is one functionality about it so the, this bar provides you with the option of choosing a particular bible version of your choice just like this place so you can choose any bible passage of your choice and then you change the entire format into the passage that you choose particular version they provide you with about 12 plus and 15 plus several bible versions that you can choose so you can also choose it here for multi language from this particular point you can change it to a greek if you know how to speak greek so to choose it by default and then they give you the greek part of the bible and then this greek will be for the concordance so whereby you can search a particular phrase if you know it and then or you can search it by the strong number or you can even they give you the option of using it for the hebrew also if you can if you also know the hebrew so these are the alphabet the greek alphabet so you can search based on the the particular alphabet so that it becomes easier for them so to give you all the ways in greek according to englishman's concordance the number of times this word particular word appear So the, these are the several Bible version, Bible concordance they provide, as well as Bible dictionaries and lexicons. They give you the NAS, SLZ concordance, TS, Greek concordance, strong, and then Englishman. So you can select this on the one you prefer by clicking on it. So TS is going to give you the same word you search for, to give you several. So alpha, so to give you it in the Greek as well as the pronunciation and give you several bible references with that word and then give you certain information about it which is also good so it below will give you the the forms and then translations we have alpha alpha and several variants and then several transliteration of the particular verse you chose so you can also choose based on strong based on Englishman so based on Nasek exhaustive concordance so this is for the Bible concordance section So let's go back to our initial one. Let's choose a particular verse like 11. Yes. Then let's move. So for 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 this option, this is when you are choosing the strong. Let's go back to the strong. So we're we'll going through the value to this so you know how it functions. The default is a Bible whereby you can search a particular topic based on can search a particular topic based on the Bible or based on the topic or based on the strong number so for example for the Bible you can search based on chapters you still be using to be using the same John just also to just that navigate you to the place giving you the default settings of the power versions the study Bible and the cross reference or can still search using topics so that you can search for a word like justice. 
So to go through the database and provide you every topical word related to justice. So you can just click on it and then you will be redirected to that website or that place. Also, apart from giving you both the topical search and the Bible search, you can also search for it based on a strong number. So maybe G554. I'm not sure of the word, but let's try and see. Okay, I think you did not find any. But if you have any strong number, you can just search for it and then it will give you a strong number. Okay, that is for the The Bible feature, Bible search feature of, of the Bible Hub. Okay, so another option they can they also provide you is you can choose based on multi multilingual to give you an interlinear. So that you can search based on particular language based on the Hebrew they give you the ability to search for over 40 different languages so in this multilingual you can search a French word or and then to go through its database and search for you Bible passages based on the word you search so I, I entered Salu Salu is so this is how it's, 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 this that they just recognize that it's just a French word to, to give you a, the French or biblical passages on that particular verse that you search for. So you can search also the same by strong numbers. Okay, let's move on further to for the multilingual. Now we have done we are done with the multilingual. Let's check their library and see. So that we we done with this and then we move on to the other options. The library search also gives you option of searching their online Christian library for particular topics. You can search based, these are several of the things they give based on the church fathers, early church fathers, and books, and then their articles that which they have written of Tertullian, of Ignatius, of, of Dionysius, of, of Augustine, of Peter, of several other books. This is quite useful, especially if. You want to go extra biblical so this is the extra biblical aspect of their library in which you can just click on it all these ap apocryphal writings so there are two options in this apocryphal you can also select it from this same particular library apoc apocrypha and to just redirect you to that apocrypha so let's choose a particular book and see they don't only give you just they have several resources, including church history, including books which are, and then commentaries of powerful men of God like John Calvin, Saint Augustine, Henry, and then several ministers who are gone both dead, dead and alive. They also give you option of daily devotionals, as well as fictions, as well as history, the life of Christ, and several other resources, as well as exposition of the Holy Scriptures, which is like the commentary of McLaren, which will be going also into it. These are some of the resources found in their online library. So let's use the apocrypha and check something. So they give, for the apocrypha, they give you options of having a power apocrypha based on three Bible versions. So this is the apocrypha books. We have extras as well as Esther and the wisdom of Solomon. Let's see how it is. This ap apocrypha book or apocrypha is not part of the current Bible versions you are using, but there are certain Bible versions that you can also find it inside. So, this is how it looks like. So, to give you how the particular verse looks in the King James format as well as the Britain's LSS translation format. Okay, so that is for the apocrypha.
so now let's check also the you have checked the atlas and see the atlas also provide you with several maps in which you can search a particular country let's say Gilead if, if they have it in your system it will just provide you with the particular arrow phrase so looking at it is giving you linking you straight to another website called bibleatlas.org so, so it will redirect you to that place and then you have access to the particular web you search for so this is how it is bible atlas all these resources are still based on bible hub so gilead they give you the way and then a brief information about it as well as pointing you on a map on where it is you can click on it and then to open it for you in a different bigger format they give you the number of times it occurs and all these things okay so that is for the bible search for the atlas so you can search based on the atlas or you can search a particular bible phrase here and then it will redirect you so let's say something like jerusalem you want to search the bible and then give you the particular place it is okay so that is for the options now let's move on to Having finished with these ones, let's move on. To the Bible version. So these ones are the Bible versions of which you can select particular Bible version you want. This one is for the power. Let's use this remaining tools. The power option give you ability to read the bible in several power versions you can read it in this format it's giving it to you according to the, the bible version they have in the system several different bible versions as well as commentaries or you can do it change it into this format by clicking on this video button to change it into a format so that you can read it like this in this horizontal the horizontal format plus a vertical format which is also quite nice you can even print it with this option by clicking on this button here okay, so that is for the power option they also give you the option of sermons whereby you can have several sermons and then bible topics so these are all bible sermons that they give you access to so all bible sermons linked to the particular verse, verse that you search for so let's choose a different verse so that it will become different let's say genesis 20 to give you every sermon they have in the system which is related to genesis 20 so upon clicking on it to redirect you to their sermons then which are written sermons outlined for you nicely okay that is for that Okay, so that is for the sermons option. Let's move on to the topics. For the topics, we give you all topics related, related which you can search for it as well as topics in the Bible and then themes. So they give you option of people, places, and an outline of all biblical major biblical characters as well as topics in the system, which is related to the particular verse here as well as several Bible version version so like you see that in this Genesis chapter 20 all these words are topics that you can learn about from this verse so it's good for course reference as well as pattern anal analysis the strong as we have already gone through will give you the strong numbers in which you can search for based on the several Bible versions they have given to you remember that the default is always a power version and then we have the comment which is commentaries so this all these things are for the parallel version so that you can still be having several commentaries that you can be benefiting from so the commentaries either you click here and then to give you a parallel commentary or you click here and then choose a particular single commentary so let's use a commentary like debbie 
So if you go to the top bar here to give you a single pane commentary of that particular Bible verse that you have chosen, but if you go to the power tab here and click on it, it is going to give you several Bible commentaries on that particular topic. So these are some of them. They give you the option of jumping to the particular Bible commentary, just like instead of selecting it singly by, by here, they give you the option of just jumping to it. So this is how the commentaries are. It will give you Elliot's commentary, Cambridge commentary, Pulpit commentary, Benson's commentary, Henry's commentary of that particular verse that you have selected here. So you can let's move on to let's say McLaren. It just jump start you to one interface of McLaren if he's having it in it in his if he has written a commentary on it. That is for the commentary option, which is quite good for it. As a Jesus, and the Bible exposition. So, this one is the interlinear. And now, I'll give you like this like the power to give you the transliteration of the particular verse. And then the original was written to us Genesis chapter 20. This is how it is. The Hebrews read from right to left, so to read from here. Interlinear is very good. They give you just a word for word format. So it is a, it's a formal equivalent format of translation. So you see, looking at it, if you don't know how to use trans, trans, uh, interlinear, be having a problem. You may think that you just need from there, but you read from Ram from like. It's very dicey to read, but it's very good if you want to know. They give you options of the strong numbers, which is the ones at the top, as well as transliterated of the of the Hebrew or the Greek, as well as the original word written, so that you can know what the word is in the Greek. And also one nice thing that gives you for each and every of the Bible word give you whether the, the format of sentence or format of phrase whatever they call it are forgotten so if it's a verb to tell you that this particular is a verb this is an adjective this is a noun so that you can know which of them is a verb which of them is an action which of them is just a name it is also good if you are doing index studies okay so that is for the interlinear they also give you the option of choosing the hebrew which is for test analysis just like the interlinear for that particular verse to just analyze all the ways for you in a table format which is quite nice and then give you the interlinear format a consonant only the ones with the consonants in the vowels which is good for test analysis so the another option is the lexicon for the lexicon they give you all the ways and then the meaning of the word that is the advantage of the lexicon this the hebrew option will just give you the word the verb and then the test analysis but the lexicon will give you the word plus what it means and then the origin of the word so for example abraham is from the word up and then it's an unused word and said to also link you to another word verb or another word called abraham giving you the definition the strong number the transliteration and then the original hebrew which is also good then you also have the multi Tab, which is going to give you several options in several languages. So you have the English version, the Hebrew version, you have Latin, Spanish, you have French, and several other Bible versions, Hungarian, all several Bible versions. So if you are a bilingual or a polyglot, you can just be seeing it. And this is a French, uh, this is Russian. The Russian has several versions which you can read. If you know Russian and then in French and then several other Bible versions also so it's quite a very powerful tool so we have gone through this power option which is very good is uh, the next button is the quick access button which gives you power versions in a horizontal format of the particular verse you are searching for.
or the option of doing cross reference so that you can know the all the reference of the Bible which are related to the particular verse you are searching for. They also give you the option of doing chain links. The chain links will, will show you all the particular phrases of the Bible which are linked to that particular verse. So like you can jump to previous like Abraham you can just jump through foreigner like all these uh, links to the link to that particular phrase. And of course the default will be a power verse. So that's the lexicon. The multilingual. The next option is for context so that you can read it based on the context, what it means in context of it. As there's this Bible rule of that context is king. So to give you the particular word in context without any paraphrase. The next option is a Bible biblical illustrator, which is useful if you want to train children in the Bible to give you maps as well as. An outline of it and making it quite easy and simple like a summarized form the next option the commentary and homiletics for puppet ministry that you can know how to can learn people's sermon and article they have written on that particular topic to help you in preparing your own sermon the next option is the pictures which you can to change the interface you can select this on the picture to change the interface behind the particular verse you have selected so that you can, you can even share this particular piece so let's see let's choose something like this let you change the interface behind this Abraham journey mm -hmm. so something like this but it's not nice anyway and you can share it on the available social platforms on Facebook or Twitter on Penny Press or Google Plus and several others who print it, you can send it on LinkedIn and several other tools. This option allows you to add a particular phrase you want so you can add link into it. Okay, so that is another option. So the next option is the treasure of scripture knowledge. TSK. The TSK will give you all like it's a treasure of scripture scripture knowledge so this is how it looks like there are several resources they provide you the next option is the bible book summary this is very useful in case you want to you have finished a particular book you have read and you want a summary of it or you want to start a particular book study you can just click on this bible summary and then to give you a summary of a particular book this is Genesis giving you quite good so that in case you are giving a, a task in my Bible school to summarize a particular book of the Bible and just be using these resources, which is quite useful. You can choose a different one like Exodus and then to give you different books so that I can just be reading it and benefiting. The next option is chapter outline, which is also good, just like the Bible book summary which gives you a Bible book summary. The chapter outline will outline the chapters so that you know each and every chapter and what it meant, the, the particular context of that particular chapter. The next option is a timeline. Timelines are very good when you are studying the Bible. It gives, it makes you help, it gives you an understanding, a broad overview of when the particular people were in particular places in particular time areas. So this is Something about Jacob and the Israelites, so like the era around which these particular verses are. It's quite nice. They also give you the particular verse and the approximated era or age or time that it was. Okay, the another one is the library which you have gone through, and then the Alpha and Omega, which will give you the Greek study Bible. So it's going to send you to for the Greek, remember the Bible, the Greek is only for the New Testament to give you in Greek format. So if you know the Greek, you can read the Greek, they read from left to right. So Biblos, Biblo, I don't know it all, but I think this one is Biblo. <laughs> anyway, okay, Biblo, Biblo is book. So the book, by clicking on it, can even give you a brief idea of a particular verse, even if you don't know Genesis. Oh, 
Wow. So it's quite useful. ISOS, uh, ISOS. So by clicking on it, you even don't know the Greek to give you the translated and translated as well as the meaning of it. And then the format it is. It is quite useful. So the next option is the Hebrew study test, which is sent you to the Old Testament. So that you can just know. So Barashit, Barashit, uh, I know. So this one is the Barashit. Then just like by clicking on it, it give you the word in translated as well as the meaning and then the, the, uh, the strong number and then the fourth part of speech it is. The next option is power group text so that you can have a power group text. We have two several biblical Bible Greek that we have. Okay, so this one is the the Greek it will give you several Bible versions in the Greek such as the first court and hot, the Byzantine majority test, the Greek Orthodox test, test, Stephanos testus receptus. So that I can have it in power version so that I can see where it is where the particular verse is. See that this one it's, it's, it looks taller than it is. Anyway, this is David. Jesus Christos Sin David. <laughs> I am trying to bring my Greek here. <laughs> okay, that is for the power. It also give you the option of doing the same power for Hebrew, so, which will send you to the Old Testament. So I can also have the Hebrew gives you just the right format. So I can have all these things in a three format so I can have a power study of this. It's quite very useful. And then also have the Aramaic New Testament. So that during the time of Jesus, there were three languages they be speaking: the Hebrew, the Aramaic, and then the Greek as well as Latin. So this is the Aramaic format. It also writes from left, from right to left, which looks like Arabic. So you see it. <laughs> wow, what is wonderful. Okay, so that is another nice feature of it. And then they also give you the option of having it in a mobile format. It is going to shrink it to a mobile format so that you can use it in a mobile phone. So you can use their mobile app and then it's quite useful. Okay. And then the last option is the last options are for printing. So that if you like a particular piece, you can just print it. Print a particular page and you can share it on Facebook or Google Plus or on Twitter. This one is also the same as the share button. So it, it seems that I have gone through all their tools and resources. Thank you for staying with me on this course. I hope you have learned something. If you have any questions, you can send it so that I'll see how to help you. They also have this option which we forget about devotions as well as reading plans so that if you want to finish reading the scriptures you can know so today is 23rd december so it gives you a bible daily reading plan which is quite useful and then devotions of which you can select the particular devotions that you want based on tender or spare john and then a reading bible plan which is quite useful they give you several options so these are some of the powerful resources inside this thank you and stay blessed